Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we're going to take a quick walk through the Target back to school section. I have to say, I was a little bit disappointed with the back to school section at Target this year. I went there about a week earlier and they hadn't, they had only set up a little bit of the back to school stuff. They still had a lot of it in boxes to be put out. So I decided to wait a week and go back, see if they had everything out. They had everything out, but, you know, normally it always looks so nice. I'm not really sure what happened unless they were just woefully understaffed and they just don't have enough people to, you know, maintain it. And you know how customers are. They're very messy. I mean, I worked in retail for years. I know how quickly customers can mess up a display and it's, it's, people are awful. They just mess it up. So I get that. Um, but it was, honestly, I thought it looked kind of messy and the Walmart back to school stuff to me look better, but usually that's not the case. Usually Target stuff looks a lot better, but I wanted to show it to you anyway. And, uh, so without further ado, let's go take a walk through the back to school section at Target. Hey, it's good to see you. We are in Target and we're going to take a look at their back to school stuff. I was actually here last week. And I attempted to look at their stuff, but a lot of it wasn't put out yet. I have to say, um, I've just been walking around over here, and uh, it's, I don't know how to describe it other than to say it is just messy. And it hasn't been out that long, because as I said, I was just here a week ago. They had not put out anything yet. Well, I mean, they had, they had put some out. Now their folders look, well, reasonably nice, but a lot of it just looks really, I don't know, junky? It just looks really junky over here. Look, I mean, look at the post-it notes exploded. There's nothing in here, just a little bit of tape. That's not even supposed to be here. It just, overall, it just looks kind of messy over here, but we're going to look at it anyway. I'm just kind of Honestly, I'm shocked. I don't think I have ever come here to look at the back to school stuff. I've never seen it look like this. And again, as I said, I was just here a week ago and they hadn't, a lot of this stuff hadn't even been put out yet. So it's not like it's been out for a long time and it's picked over. No, a lot of this stuff just got put out. But anyway, maybe I'll take a look at it. Um, look at all the lovely post-it notes that we have over here. Oh wow, you can get a big set. This is $15.99 and you get all these different little pads. These are $4.99, $2.79. I like these little ones. I use these at work all the time, these small ones like that. But they provide those. I don't have to buy them, thank goodness. You get a big bag of rubber bands. This is the Up and Up brand, which is the Target brand. They're pretty. This is $5.99. You get three sizes in here. Oh, look what's on clearance. That sounds disgusting. It's Oreos with Sour Patch Kid flavored stuff. That's horrifying. I don't know about that. What's this? Buddy Softies little dog treats with natural peanut butter. I don't think that's part of the back to school stuff, but yeah. Yeah, some cute. I think they had these last year, these little push pins. They look like little succulents. And you can get just the regular ones too. A 10 piece math set. You can do some math with that. It's exciting. Yeah, it's uh. So, anyway, their prices are pretty comparable with Walmart when it comes to stuff like the uh, crayons. These are 50 cents. That's how much they are at Walmart for the 24 count box. And we will be shopping here to buy some stuff. Um, I have the list from the elementary school that we're shopping for. Here's a six foot sticker roll from Squishmallows. Yeah, we'll be doing some shopping here uh, really soon. And uh, so we'll be buying a bunch of crayons, a bunch, bunch of pencils. Oh yeah, look at all the Ticonderoga pencils. We'll be buying a lot of these right here. Ooh, that pack exploded. What's the difference? Oh, these are not sharpened. They did ask for the sharpened 
pencils. So it tells you out here's unsharpened or sharpened. Oh, here's a big pack here, 72. This is 1649. You get 72. I got the list of what they're gonna need for all the grades. Oh, these are pretty. Look at these. Oh my god, that's cool. Little striped. I want these. <laughs> So what I did, I took the lists for the six grades, kindergarten through fifth, and I combined them into one long list. And I kind of split it in half. So I did half the shopping at Walmart, and I'll be doing half of it here. The pencils and crayons are on the target list. Over here we have notebooks. Now these are spiral notebooks over here. I like the ones with the poly cover. They're much more durable. They're a little bit more expensive than the ones with the paper cover, but they hold up a lot better. We also have Mead 5 Star. We have these at uh, Walmart as well. Here's one in plastic. This one's in plastic, but the other ones aren't. That's kind of weird. Trust the Magic. This is from Pippi Post. Oh, look at this one. Oh, it's so cute. It's, it's kind of shiny. It has little floats on it. That's adorable. Most of them, though, they have to be certain colors. But which, um, I did have to get some spiral notebooks, but those were part of the Walmart shop, so I will not be buying any notebooks here or composition books. I got those at Walmart. Little five-star notebooks. Ooh, this one's pretty. Look at this cover. I like that one. We have little pouches. Oh, look at this. Cord caterpillars. Oh, interesting. You put your little things on. Neat. These are $4.99 and you get three of them for $4.99. An adapter wrap, cord bands, cord straps. These are magnetic cord bands. A little cord wallet. Interesting. You can get it in brown or green. This goes up there. We have a tech pouch little thing and then we have a larger one down here these laptop pouches these are $9.99 you see they're kind of quilted a little bit those are cool we have filler paper everything just looks so messy I just and I mean I know it gets that way eventually but for it to already be this messy is a little bit of a shock honestly I was not expecting this now over here we have stuff for your locker. If you're lucky enough to go to a school where they will let you use the lockers. I only have one kid left in school. He's going into the 10th grade. And at his school, they are not allowed to use lockers. They have lockers, but after COVID, when they came back after COVID, they were no longer allowed to use the lockers anymore. I guess COVID hides in the lockers or something. And if you open the locker, COVID will spring out and, and get you or something. I don't really know, but anyway, he doesn't need any of this locker stuff because they're not allowed to use their lockers. <laughs> but look, even this is messy. Look, look at this owl. Oh, it looks like it has just been this way. I mean, these are just kind of thrown up here and then people dig through. That is a groovy cover. I like that. That's pretty. But these are just all over the place. This is a planning calendar. This doesn't even go here. Yeah, these are all mixed up. Here is a decomposition book. 100% post-consumer waste recycled pages. That's pretty cool. A decomposition book. Oh, I like that. The pages are perforated. I like this cover. It's really pretty. Not really sure where that goes, but we have a five-star one subject college rule notebook now over here we do have a nice selection of pens look at all these pens these are pretty these are little felt tip pens highlighters sharpies wow yeah this looks pretty great we have a lot of markers over here this pack let's see 24 count these are 19.99 Ooh, we have Candy Pop from Paper Mate, too. That's the Flare collection. That's Candy Pop. Nice. Sharpies, Clear View. Lots of different options when it comes to highlighters. These can highlight and erase. 
superpower. Yeah, felt pens and highlighters. What's in these boxes over here? It looks like we have fast wall chargers. Got a whole bunch of them in socks. We have a Ticonderoga. Now this is a sharpener and an eraser for your little pencils. I saw these over here. These are $2 or you can get these little 50 cent ones here. Lead. The notebooks are a hot mess. These are the mechanical pencils here. We have stickers. Great big crayons. We have the big pot the big boxes of crayons with the built-in sharpener as always. These are washable crayons. So I came over here a minute ago because it's it's very for some reason it's oddly noisy and crowded back here. Look at look at this place. This is this is terrible. This is just I've never seen it look like this before. I've never seen it. Look at that. Locker Club backpacks. Look at all oh, this one's cute. You can get a Squishmallow backpack for $14.99. Feels kind of flimsy, but it's only $15. And then we have Spider-Man with the lunchbox. And you even get a little pencil pouch too. I was looking at these backpacks over here. So we always look at these. We have all the Jan Sport ones. This one's cool. It's $60. I think this one is my favorite, though. Look, it has mushrooms all over it. And the back is brown. Isn't that cute? I had to look at it for a second because I wasn't sure what it was. It's little mushrooms all over it. That one's $60 also. Somebody unzipped it. They only have this one, but I, that is so cute. They had this one last year with the strawberries on it. And then we have the solid color. Oh, this is cute with the little daisies on it. Lightning bolts. Yeah, they have a lot. And then they have just the plain black backpacks. Those are nice too. And over here we have some from All in Motion. These are like neoprene backpacks. These are on sale for $27.99. I like that green. It's kind of a seafoam color. Um, and they have it in this kind of a ivory color. This is from Embark, and it's made of ripstop material. Here's a cool camouflage one for $24.99 from Ecotech. Ooh, look at this one. I like that one. Those are pretty colors, too. Very nice. Oh, look at this Puma one. That's cute. Yeah. Okay, I think it finally cleared out. I had to leave for a while. It was just so chaotic back here. Oh. We have folders of all types. Oh, look at this one. A little, little butterflies or moths or something. These are fashion folders. Oh, Lego alligators. Look at that. Lego gators. Nice. They do have a better color selection for their folders than Walmart does. But we already, the folders, that was on my list for Walmart. So we've actually already gotten these. Oh, and I got um, an expandable organizer little thing like this. This one's actually very cool. I like this. I like this more than the one I got at Walmart. They didn't have that kind, but that's okay. Actually, the kind I needed needed the elastic uh, closure like that. But anyway, I got one already. Construction paper. That's a big pack of construction paper from Crayola. This is enforced filler paper from Five Star. Are you kidding me? God. Okay, so it's heavyweight, and it's, it has the enforced little things there. That pack of paper right there is six forty nine. Can you believe that? Or you can get just regular filler paper down here for ninety nine cents. I mean, is it really that much better? Well, of course it's better, Mary. They have an app. Six forty nine or ninety nine cents. I think I'm going with the ninety nine cent paper. <laughs> I'm just cheap, I guess. I don't know. Here's another decomposition book. This one has little flowers on it. Oh, look at this. Daily chirps. It's a little journal. That is so cute. I like that. 
put that one there with the others. Oh, there's more down here. They have the spirals and then they have these like this. These are nice. Oh, look at this one. It has a picture on it. Like a little house in the woods. These are neato. Oh, crap. They're $8.99. Are you kidding me? The spiral ones are also $8.99. I don't like them that much. There's a pig. His eyes are messed up. He's a Minecraft pig, so what do you expect? You can learn about your feelings with this activity set. All right, then. You can also get sensory bottles. Mindful maze set. I just think Harvest would have something to say about it. I don't imagine I know what it would be, but she would say something. Everything over here is just messy. I just cannot... I'm very unhappy with Target this year. I'm just, I'm very unhappy with this layout. Honestly, I had more fun looking at this stuff in Walmart. This hasn't been quite as much fun, but it's, they did. They just got all this stuff put out. And now I know they can't control what people come in here and do. If customers come in and mess it up, I mean, they can't do a whole lot about it. They could clean it up a little bit. Oh, look, this is a pencil case. It's a cross-stitch set. So you get your floss, your yarn here, and you can do a little cross-stitch and personalize it. It's $8, though, for a pencil case. Oh, that's pretty. Look at this beautiful folder. This is one of the decomposition folders. That is gorgeous. Oh, it has a texture to it. That's lovely. Did that come from over here? Oh, maybe not. This is a bunch of the decomposition stuff is over here. I don't know where this came from. That is stunning. That is truly beautiful. They do have a groovier selection of folders. I will give them that. They have a much better selection of stuff like this. Oh, it's right here. This is only $1.99. I love this. Oh my gosh, I don't even, I don't even need a folder for anything. I would invent a reason to buy this. That is beautiful. It does, it has a nice texture. Oh, oh my God. What's this one? Oh, this one has whales on it. I like the hummingbirds better. So these are $1.99. It looks like they just have these two designs. That's beautiful. I love it. Of course, we have our glue sticks and our bottles of glue, colored pencils. Gosh, you can get a big pack of 50 for $7.99. Oh, or 100 This is $15.59. Yeah, their prices are pretty, uh, comp hold on. Let's see. Now, I think this has gone up. I, I may be wrong. Were these 12 pound count? Weren't these 99 cents last year or 97 cents? These are $1.99 for the 12 count. Yeah. I feel like these were 99 cents last year. Or you can get the 24 count for $3.29. The Mondo Llama ones are, are a dollar. Yeah, weren't these 75 cents? Oh, these are markers. Wait a minute. The colored pencils, the colored pencils are a dollar. I think they were 75 cents last year. And we have index cards. You know, I didn't have any index cards on my list to buy this year. No index cards, but I am going to have to get some uh, Ziploc bags, like the quart and the gallon size stuff, uh, bags. We will be getting those here when I do my shopping. Yeah, the, the post-it notes have blown up. It's just... I don't know. This part of the store is not making me happy this year. Hey, here's a book about Dolly Parton. Let me see. Oh, I love her. Let me see. Oh my God. She is one. There are not many celebrities I would ever want to meet. I would love to meet her. My life in rhinestones. Oh, I want this book. Oh, it's. Oh my gosh. It's a bunch of her outfits. Oh man. Our first ever store-bought dress. Oh my god. Wow. 
I don't know why that's back here, but that's the coolest thing I've seen here. <laughs> that in that hummingbird folder. <laughs> Dang. All right. We have ballpoint pens. Ooh, these are pretty. Those are pretty. They're $10, though. God. Pens. We have gel pens over here. Got our little big pens. Get your, you can get your little packs like the red and the blue and the black. Down here, these are $1.89 per pack. Paper Made Ink Joy gel pens. Yeah. So, yeah, I better I better come really soon to do my shopping because it's it's sad back here. I, this store is making me sad. <laughs> but that's about it. I mean, I think we've looked at everything. There's not much left to look at. They have, you can also get a DIY journal cross stitch set. So it's just the front, but you can you can cross stitch and make your own design on the front of the journal. That goes here, and it is eight dollars for the little journal, and you can design your little thingy for the front. I think we've seen everything. I think that's basically it. Um, yeah, we have what is this little keychain? Yeah, little keychains, more journals. These are falling over. Composition books, little pouches. These are cute. So we'll be looking at it a little bit more when we come to do our shopping. Um, I don't know. I feel like I feel like Walmart has outdone Target this year. Quite frankly, I I really feel like they have. We have our sheet protectors, dividers, binders. The binders are looking awful. Just good God. So anyway, um, yeah, Target. This Target is a mess. It is just a freaking mess, man. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is attached. Oh, look. It's a composition book. It comes with this little pen. Oh, and you can get a Barbie journal. But anyway, that is just a quick look at the back to school stuff at Target, the way it stands currently. And we will be coming back to do some shopping very soon. But I just wanted to take a minute and let you take a look at the items that we have in Target. <laughs> if you want to rifle through and find them, you can find some great back to school stuff at Target this year. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that quick little walk through the Target back to school section for 2024. Um, they do have some different stuff. You know, they don't, they always have stuff that I don't see at other stores. So it's always kind of neat to see what kind of stuff they have. Um, it's just kind of a shock to see it look so messy. But again, I think it's probably because they're understaffed and they just don't have enough people working to keep it up. Um, I, because I've noticed that happening more and more at more retail stores, at least in my area. Um, so I'm not faulting the employees. I think it's probably they just don't have enough people working to keep it up, to keep it looking nice. So, but thank you so much for being here and going to look at the back to school stuff today. I really hope that you have a great day and I'll see you again really soon.